Many acoustic drummers are still hesitating about electronic drums because they focus on their acoustic drum set, but also many of them are amateurs or semi-professionals or professionals also playing with cover bands or the artists of today who are always incorporating uh, electronic uh, sounds with their live performances. For instance, today if you audition for a pop band, you will get three questions as a professional drummer, for instance. Number one, do you have a driver's license? <laughs> number two, can you work with an SPDSX or maybe some triggers? And number three, are you a happy person? But very important also is the fact that you can actually today play the sounds from the original recordings of the pop artist or the cover band. Now, you can of course go full electric, but many drummers are in hybrid situation. For instance, they have to play a Foo Fighters tune or a Nirvana tune, but at the same time also a Rihanna song, which is number one in the charts. So that's why many drummers actually requested to have a little bit more than the TM2 that's been out for a few years. And that's why we created the TM6 Pro. The TM6 Pro, three key points. Number one, open source system. You can import any sample from an original recording, a drum library, even your own CD collection into the TM6 Pro at CD quality high resolution audio. Okay, number two, lowest latency. Because when you start importing samples, most of the people still, uh, they're thinking about using laptops, but laptops are slower. And this one is as fast as the top line V drums from Roland. So no latency or very, very minimum, which is inaudible. And number three, many sound engineers always quarrel with drummers about hey but if you change the level of the kick drum or the snare drum it also affects the mix in the front of house so six direct outputs so the drummer can have a separate mix for himself which feels comfortable and at the same time he also outputs an independent straight uh, sound feed to the front of house guy so he can do his own thing he can mix for instance the acoustic bass drum sound with the triggered sound now uh, for this purpose today I'm using a meshette uh, equipped uh, small drum set um, with triggers so this is the usual situation for hybrid drumming an acoustic drum set triggers on the heads these heads are now silent heads so the only sounds you will hear are the sounds that are coming out of the TM6 Pro. Very important also, TM6 Pro, it's all newly produced processed sounds inside. So there's a great selection from the best of V drums, but additionally, we actually design specific sounds for hybrid drumming. And there's also a very important feature on there. You can, on the front panel, without going into the menus, immediately immediately adjust the sound to the character of your drum set. Let's say, for instance, we have a kick drum. Sorry. Here we go. Is the sound level okay in the headphones? You have a kick drum. This is like an acoustic sounding kick drum. But when you combine it with an acoustic bass drum, it might maybe a little bit too much attack or too much low end. So with the transient designer, you can immediately adjust only the attack factor of this kick drum sound. So for instance, you have the attack coming from the acoustic drums and you just adjust the electronic sound coming on top of it with this transient designer. You can follow here in the screen. Also, the length of a kick sound can be a problem for big PA systems. So that's why we can also have a release and uh, a decay function here. You see? So any poor sounding acoustic bass drum sounds will sound better uh, by uh, adding the trigger and the TM6 Pro um, utilities. And on top of that, we also have, for instance, pitch, because today, all kick drums in electronic music production or hybrid music production are actually in the key of the song you're playing. So, immediately during the rehearsal, you can change these settings, save, 
you don't even have to push save it all it also retains all your last settings and you can do the same for the thumbs but you can also experiment a little bit with special let's say setups listen to this hi-hat there's a right symbol on top of the hi-hat and I can even have let's adjust the level a little bit here we go two sounds on one pad so I made it really really obvious so you can really hear the difference a tom sound on a cymbal signal so anything goes you can combine anything but the most important thing is of course also the low latency high speed triggering and again transient designing for every single sound on a pad so here I have a tom to make it really obvious and here I have the hi-hat okay I want for instance less attack on the hi-hat very easy to do watch the screen a little bit more whoosh on the hi-hat so you can play drum beats which totally sound different and you're still having the acoustic sound and the team 6 pro doing its own thing it's a really original combination there's also internal effects uh. and as you can see really fast reaction no latency ladies and gentlemen a jar I play a lot is drum and bass so we also have to have this typical drum and bass sounds but the drum and bass sounds of today not the ones from 2017 or 16 no the ones from 2018 really tight really really in your face no effects and then but this is not the most important one because now with the Hyatt for instance This is what electronic music producers do. They combine right cymbals, which are not sounding like normal right cymbals, with, for instance, hi hats. And there you have something like this. A splash symbol so let's work on the sound a little bit let's attack and there we go one two Ladies and gentlemen, also very important, rhythm and blues, hip-hop, trap music, like this. Yeah. Doesn't matter. But, I can be a hip-hop DJ at the same time. So lots of possibilities and as you can hear it's really in your face sound it's really more attack or less attack this is typical combination with an acoustic bass and when you play it by itself so a very very powerful module indeed ladies and gentlemen despacito the very famous song, here we go, this, uh. 
that's enough. But it's in there, okay? So any Calypso beat, you can also reproduce with the TM6 Pro. Also, dual triggering. One, two. But you can play it as a drummer. So let's funk up Despacito. One. a nice one that last one let's edit that one out so you can do whatever you want with this one ladies and gentlemen also very important some dubstep or big step now let's go into the screen what happens here it's actually two sounds watch this wait two sounds layered so I have the first one which is this one just a minute. A bit crush clap and a kick attack element on the second one. So this is the first one. Sorry. This is the first one. And then I can add another layer, a low and mid shaper. So it becomes a little bit more wide. This is what you can do actually with all the sounds inside. Combine two samples. On top of that, I can, of course, also edit my samples. For instance, one has a decay of 100, the other one is a little bit shorter. Independent pitch control, which I also can you hear from the screen. Anything is possible. On top of that, let's go back to sample here. In independent panning and also the WAF itself, how it reacts to your playing. So for instance, let's put it on another curve. When I play it softly, it will be sound number one. When I play a little bit louder, the other one comes in. So for instance, let's put that a little bit um, uh, here, fade point up, a little bit louder, here we go. The other one comes in later. Like this. And also mini volume, pedal bending for pitch control and so on, so on, so on. Everything is there. And then in the end. It is not completely there. So let's go back into the hi hat. Here we go. A little bit more attack. Okay, that's better. Pitch down maybe. And a little bit more. Why not? Here we go. A little bit more delay or decay, sorry, and pitch up. Here we go. A DJ cannot play it like this. You know, that's why you need a drummer and a live drummer. Ladies and gentlemen, there's also some music which is a little bit more on the edge. As the Dutch football team is not doing really well, they came up with another music genre that still gives them some sports workout, okay? 
and uh, all those sounds are in there as well. If you go to Europe and also maybe some alternative clubs here in the US, this might happen. Let's pitch it down a little bit. This is the typical Honda Civic with a big subwoofer in there, okay? And also some scents, why not? It's perfectly in tune. That's how a musical instrument comes alive. Thank you very much. Any questions? Yes, you can load music, play along, and also click tracks, and just play along with them. Also, six different, six direct outputs, and it also has a USB port, which you can use for digital audio A channels. So that's another thing I didn't mention yet. So it's really TM6 Pro, professional use, but also for semi-professional amateur drummers who play in cover bands and you really, who really want to kick up the sound to 2018.